By the end of this video, you will know Facebook ads are still worth it in 2022 and on what options there are to implement them into your business. Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Sear, the founder of Green Cardinal Design and today I'm here to answer the question of are Facebook ads still worth it in 2022? So you're probably thinking in the age of TikTok when you've got all this vertical video growing and organic reach, what is the point of Facebook ads? Well, I'm here to tell you that there's still a huge point in using Facebook ads because realistically, it's still the largest social media platform there is. So Facebook still has 2.7 billion users compared to TikTok's 1 billion. So it's a gigantic audience for you still to reach. So we shouldn't write Facebook off just yet, even though it's not quite as enticing as something like TikTok is right now. Don't get me wrong, within the next decade, Facebook could be surpassed by TikTok or another platform, but right now there's still an opportunity there for businesses. So I think the interesting thing you need to look at is what type of business you run. Is it a B2C or a B2B? So are you going direct to consumer or are you going to business to business? Because it tends to be the B2C if you're selling you know, clothing, shoes, food, fitness products, if you go direct to consumer, Facebook ads has a very good chance of working because a lot of it will be based around those immediate decisions. People will be able to make a quick decision on whether or not they want it and then come through to your website and they can buy things straight away. When you're a B2B business, let's say you offer a service, while it can still work, it can be a bit harder to get a positive return on investment through Facebook ads, but there are ways. Now, first of all, with Facebook ads, the main thing you want to focus on and the reason why it may not be working for you at the minute is that you're using static images. Static imagery is not going to work in the age of TikTok and YouTube and YouTube Shorts and all the focus on video right now. You realistically need to have a video ad, otherwise you're not going to be able to sell your business in the right way. So make sure you can use video or create video and get someone to create it for you because it's so, so important if you're pumping tons and tons of ad spend into your Facebook ads, that it needs to be worth it and you need to have the best content out there that's going to convince people to come and buy whatever it is you're selling. Another good reason to use Facebook ads right now is the fact that targeting is still top notch. We have had a bit of a problem with iOS 14, which basically restricted some of the targeting options through Facebook. However, they still have a huge database of who uses their platform and if they're a business owner, if they like this particular product, if they're interested in this, you can still use a lot of that data. Now, I would admit the average cost per click on Facebook is going up. From 2020 to 2021, the, I think the percent increased by 17%. If it continues to grow at that rate, you know, five or six years, potentially, it could be very expensive to run ads on Facebook. But right now, it's still worth your money and you're still able to target a huge amount of people and try and get your product in front of them. Now, unfortunately, iOS 14 has also caused the issue of whether or not how, how we can track people once they get to your website. Now, with conversion tracking, usually you can see what they're doing once they come to your website, whether they purchase off you, whether they buy this, whether they buy that. That isn't actually trackable anymore, or at least people can opt out of it. It is technically still trackable. But what this means is Facebook can't tell where that user went after clicking on your ad, whether they, what page they went to, whether they bought something. You can still use Google Analytics, but it basically makes things harder to, it basically makes conversion tracking a lot harder. So because of this, Facebook has encouraged people to have their targeting to be a bit broader, which means you're reaching out to a larger audience so it can find the right people that are most likely to click through on your website, so you can find the right audience for you to market to. But this can wind up being expensive, so this might be a reason against using Facebook ads right now. But I think it really boils down to why Facebook ads do and don't work is the content you're using, and I think you should support an overall marketing plan. If you're just using Facebook ads and Facebook ads alone, and you're relying on it as your main source of income, that might be where you're seeing a lot of problems. If it's there to support other things like Google Ads, your SEO, your blog posts, then we find it works a lot better. So the question still remains, are Facebook ads worth it in 2022? Well, the answer is, it depends. It depends on your industry. It depends on what type of service you offer. It depends if you're selling a product or not. It depends if you have any other marketing materials to support it. You know, are you building up your SEO? Are you running other types of ads? Are you sharing content to your social media? How much budget do you have? Because Facebook ads tend to work a lot better when you have the budget to spend in the first place. So Facebook can find the right audience for you and your product. So you need to look into this and you need to do your research in order to know whether or not it's a good fit for you. You can, of course, reach out to us and my team can take a look at your business for you and we can work out whether or not Facebook ads is a good option. So hit us up at greencardinaldesign.com and we'll get in touch. Overall, guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.